In Nigeria's economic space, 2019 has been eventful and historical. As a year being an election year, the uncertainty that enveloped the economic and business sectors early this year. In Nigeria's economic space, 2019 has been an eventful and historical year. Being an election year, the uncertainty that enveloped the economic and the business sectors early this year was thrilling and unpredictable, as in Nostradamus in the business sector, including domestic and foreign investors, kept their fingers all crossed. Real GDP grew from 1.89% in the first quarter of 2018 to 2.10% in the first quarter of 2019, followed by a 1.94% in the second quarter and 2.28% in the third quarter. Meanwhile, the stock market heralded the year at over 30,000 points and witnessed a shift as telco companies MTN and Airtel got listed on the stock market, pushing the general activities in the market marginally. However, on a year-to-date basis, the market has declined by over 15%. Meanwhile, there has been a continuous uptick in headline inflation, particularly food inflation, as inflation increased by 11.85% year-on-year in November 2019, with food stop index at a high of 14.48%. According to policymakers in the coming months, the figure is expected to climb even further, following pressure mounted on the presidency by the Nigeria Labour Congress declaring an indefinite warning strike. The President Mohamed Buhari in April signed into law the implementation of the 30,000 Naira minimum wage. The bill now makes it mandatory for employers of labour in both public and private organisations to pay 30,000 Naira as minimum wage. In what the federal government described as the smuggling and dumping of goods and the lack of adherence to ECOWAS rules, the Bahari led administration in August approved the closure of the border. The border can be reopened. There must be concrete engagements with countries that are involved in using their ports and their countries as landing ports for bringing in goods that are smuggled into Nigeria. The CBN also came up with new policies in line with their mandate to bank the unbanked, boost financial inclusion and generate more revenue for the country. The Apex Bank in October directed all banks to exclude individuals and local corporates from investing in open market operation auctions effective from October 23, 2019. This is expected to leave only banks and foreign investors as participants at the auction moving forward. In an attempt to increase lending to the real sector of the Nigerian economy, the Central Bank of Nigeria asked deposit money banks to maintain a minimum loan to deposit ratio of 65% up from the initial 60% with a deadline of December 31st, 2019. The Apex Bank said failure to meet the minimum threshold would result in a levy of additional cash reserve requirement of 50% of the lending shortfall implied by the LDR. Still in the spirit of financial inclusion, the Apex Bank in December also issued adjustments to its electronic banking policies, which included the revised charges on electronic funds transfer. According to the new rule, EFTs below 5,000 Naira would incur a charge of 10 Naira. Meanwhile, transfers between 5,001 Naira and 50,000 Naira would incur 25 Naira charge, while transfers above 50,000 Naira would attract 50 Naira moving forward. ATM bank charges have also been revised to 35 Naira from 65 Naira when you use other banks' ATM. On Tuesday, December 17, 2019, President Mohamed Buhari signed the $34.62 billion 2020 appropriation bill, an equivalent of 10.59 trillion Naira, into law, which returns Nigeria's budget circle to January to December a feat that has been a heckling task for each successive administration in the last 20 years. With this landmark achievement in budgeting circle, the year 2019 would go on record as a memorable one, making it the fourth time post-democracy that Nigeria would commence a fiscal year with the running of the appropriation bill from day one. Irene Ubani for Plus TV Africa.